All right, so I'll start with the worst first. Uh, from about this point right here is where it starts to get uh, a little soft. And then in the middle, it's kind of hard to see, but there's cracks all around the inside where there's nothing right here. I mean, it's pretty spongy. Shouldn't be too, too bad to replace it. Run the chest right here to storage. Goes into the console. Um, cup holders. Storage door. Uh, empty. Like I said, the guy stripped the boat out. With a nice pulpit. Anchor locker. Blah, blah, blah. Um, T top, LEDs, aluminum box, custom T top, uh, aluminum work around the side. See, it's still a little grimy. Get that fresh washer. Comes with the crazy fuel tank or uh, bait tank. I think they just plug it into that hose right there and just let it overflow. Um, really nice custom leaning post. Uh, all aluminum. Got the rod holders in there, cups. Um, it, there's no storage underneath it. That's kind of the bad part about it. Uh, electronics under there, BHF, stereo, free paper towels, uh, huge dash. I mean, we're going to be pulling all the Yamaha stuff out, so it'll come with your steering, uh, cup holders, compass. Um, yeah, some more storage in there. Looks like anchor light. The gunnels, they do have some mounts, whatever you'd like. Well, let's see. In there, battery, two stroke oil, uh, trim tab pump. Let's go to this side. Uh, another battery, oil jug that I guess is going to be removed. And he's got a perco up underneath there. Anyway, um, T Top does have some fancy LEDs on there. I don't know if you can see them, but. Yep, that's about it.